welcome back. So I am stepping way out of my comfort zone today and worked with this silver gray smoky eye. I haven't done an eyeshadow look like this since like, I don't know, like junior year of high school. Like, ugh. So this is a cool tone look that I came up with for the holidays. I got a lot of requests last year, especially around New Year's time for some silver looks. And I figured I would just go ahead and get it over with. It's not my cup of tea, but depending on how I like the footage of this look, I may or may not do something similar again. I hope you guys are getting excited and ready for the holiday season. If you're not subscribed to my channel or you just don't know, I'm doing a ton of giveaways this month. And they're really nice giveaways, like really good things. I've been giving you guys sneak peeks here and there via on Snapchat or here on YouTube, but there's going to be more sneak peeks on future giveaways in this tutorial, so be sure to pay attention to that. And I also have a running giveaway right now, so check the description box on what I'm giving away and how to win it. But if you want to see how I got this smoky silver thing, <laughs> let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. Why do I always have lipstick on my teeth? So hello guys, it is currently a little late at night. It's about 10.35 p.m. Um, I've already done my brows and that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to the eyes. I wanna do something kind of silvery and cool toned. I used to always use silver eyeshadow when I was like in high school and the thought of it now kind of makes me wanna like throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> But I'm going to um, kind of try it, and then if I don't like it, I guess you'll never see this video. <laughs> so to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow, I'm just going to use a concealer like I always do. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use the shade Fair. Put the sweatshirt on because it's freezing outside, but now I have like 17 lights on me. And I just remembered I didn't turn my above light on. Let me do that. But now I'm a little sweaty is what I was about to say. Okay. okay, now that I have my lighting situation the way it's supposed to be, I'm going to use a mix of two palettes. Um, I'm going to start with the Too Faced. This is the Power of Makeup palette. It was a collaboration with Too Faced and Nikki Tutorials. I'm going to set the concealer with this white matte shade. I've used this a few times in some tutorials. It's just a perfect matte shade to set. Of course if you're not super pale um, you might want to use a more like cream color but for me the white works out perfectly. And that palette smells like chocolate and it is so delicious smelling. Alright. So now the other palette I'm going to be dipping into is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. The reason I'm showing these palettes is because I'm going to be giving them away. Not these ones, obviously. I've been using these, but some fresh ones I have. So please be sure to watch out for feature videos, which will show um, when I'm going to give these things away, how to enter, all that fun stuff. So this is a little experimental. I haven't worked with these colors in a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this tan shade from the palette. I'm just, I can't commit to the full cool tone look quite yet. It's coming, but not yet. Baby steps guys, baby steps. So I'm just using this with my Morphe M441 into the upper crease area. This is just going to be our transition shade. Just to help us blend those other colors because black and gray are one of the hardest colors to blend out in my opinion. So we definitely want to have something for it to blend into. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of wash of color on the upper crease area, I'm going to go in to the crease with this shade. Hmm. That I'm going to take the shade Bark. Right here. And I'm using this with my MAC 217. And I'm keeping these darker shades more so on the second half of the eye. I'm going to do a more like classic look where you... Actually, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Yeah. I'm going to do more classic look where you have like the lighter shimmery colors here and then the darker on this side. To help with the blending process, I'm going to add a pinch of this maple shade, which is a little tiny bit lighter and warm tone, just to help blend this out a little more. That 
bark shade was a little darker than I anticipated. Yas. And like I talked about before, I kind of turn my brush to the side where it's kind of wider versus going sideways just to do a blend in between the crease color and the transition color if you want a more smoky blown out look. Now I'm going back in with the first brush I used with no additional product on it just to blend the top edge. Just real quick. Alright guys, it's getting serious now. We're going to go in with the black. I'm taking this pointed blending brush. I wish I had a smaller one. My Morphe order has not come yet. <laughs> I didn't get my new brushes. I'm just going to stick it in the outer V. That black is really nice in this palette. Okay, so I'm kind of just tapping this color where I want it so I get the most pigmentation. And I'm going to go back in with that matte 217 with any remaining product on it and start to smoke it out. And I'm kind of going to go back and forth, adding more of the black to intensify it, and then smoking it out again. And I am going to go for a more angled look, so I am kind of extending this out a little. Why is there so much noise? So now that I have a complete disaster on my eyelids, <laughs> I'm going to mix the maple shade and the tan shade um, that we worked into the crease just to buff this out. Bill, you're so very loud. So I'll probably come back to this at some point, but let's go ahead and get some silver on the lid. First off, I'm going to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base on my eyelids. I like to apply this on my eyelids before metallic eyeshadows and it just keeps it from transferring all over the damn place. Okay, I plan on using two silver shades, but the first one I'm going to use is this shade Glacier from the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. I'm going to add some Fix Plus to my brush as well. And now to merge the black matte shadow with the silver shimmery shadow, I'm going to add this color Deep Fog from the palette, which is a metallic dark gray. Wow, this is just taking me back to freaking year 2000 right now. I just can't. What I did not have in year 2000 was um, blinding, metallic, shimmery, amazing eyeshadow. So I'm going in with the Too Faced palette I discussed earlier, and I'm going in with the shade Frosted Yum, which I think is supposed to be like a blue color, I think, but it looks silver to me. I don't know. I don't know. So I've seen somebody describe it as a blue, but like... That shit's silver. I have a decent amount on my brush and I'm going to pack it on with some Fix Plus and then I'm going to go in and try to make a more defined line. I know this looks crazy but bear with me. If I posted this video, it means it gets better, so I'm going to go back in with that deep fog shade, which is that 
um, dark gray shimmery color to work in this transition once again. I'm going to try to add a little bit more razzle dazzle to this look. So I'm taking this silver glitter by NYX. Yas. So I do like to skip around once I've kind of done the majority of my eyeshadow. I'll go ahead and go on to eyes. No, face. I go on, I go on to the face. So today I'm going to try a drugstore foundation. Now every time I try a drugstore foundation, I always end up hating it. But I'm going to keep trying for you guys. So this one is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. It has some pretty intense claims. It says... It improves skin's look in three weeks, reduces the appearance of spots, bumps, dullness, and redness. And the one I'm using is in the shade 15 Ivory, which I think is the lightest shade. This might be a little dark for me. Son of a bitch. Oh, and by the way, I do not have any primer on. Yeah, this is too dark. <sighs> hate, hate, hate. Double hate. Loath entirely. Okay, so to highlight and conceal my face, and the highlighting is going to help kind of help this dark foundation situation. I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I don't know how I feel about it. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to keep trying it. And especially when I do makeup at nighttime before I go to sleep, I don't want to use my favorite things because I'm cheap. <laughs> And I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige just to run down the sides of my nose as a quick little cream contour. Going back in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend all this in. actually looking kind of good right now. To set those concealer areas, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in this Morphe G3. Go ahead and bake my forehead with my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This prevents all the creasing from all the expressions that I do. And I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation. Um, I used this in my last couple videos. I am unsure about it, especially for the price point, I'm unsure. Dust away that extra powder. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to warm up my skin and contour. Sure to get that jawline for all that turkey and terrible things you've been eating this month and last month. I'm going to take the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder again to add on my big beard just to clean up this hot mess on my face. So now I'm going back to the eyes. I'm taking that Lorac palette once again and I'm going to go in with the transition shade we used which was tan with a dense packing brush to work on the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and add some black liner onto my waterline. This is the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the color black. So I applied that a little messy, that way I could smudge some of it out under the lash line. So I'm taking our black eyeshadow again on a little angle brush and just going to tap and smudge. And to smudge that out even further, I'm going to mix maple and bark together on a small little dense packing brush. So the final step, I need to go back in with my black and really touch up and 
That's the word I'm looking for. Straighten up this angled shape. All right, that got way too out of hand. So I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm basically going to bake this line with that Cody Airspun powder again. All right, we're just gonna let that bake and pray to the makeup gods that that works. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper just to draw a thin line straight across on my lash line, which will help cover up the lash band. I went ahead and picked out my lashes. The ones I'm going to use are the Coco Lashes. These are in the style Demi G. All right, moment of truth, guys. Let's go ahead and wipe off the big beard and our, our eye bake, too. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> And another item I'm going to be giving away on my channel is one of the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kits. So I'm going to go ahead and advertise that by using it today in this video. So my favorite highlighter in this palette is the shade Snow, which is this beautiful white color. And it's great because I can mix it with any other highlight that I have that may be too dark for my skin tone. And I can brighten it up. So I'm going to mix that with my Opal by Becca. This is just a nice, cool toned Highlighters, a lot of my highlighters run more on the warm side, meaning they have like a peach or a gold um, tone to them. And I don't want to do that with a silver look, so I'm going to go with opal. And I'm going to take the snow shade just by itself to hit my lip, my cupid's bow, and my nose. I want this look to be very icy so I'm gonna go hard on the highlight so another one of the things I'm gonna be giving away this month and this one's gonna be my first giveaway so you might already have missed this giveaway if you're watching this video a little late but this is the Smashbox this is the LA Lights palette contour blush and highlight and this blush in particular is my favorite because it's very neutral it's called true flush to so take a little bit of that blush and tap it right in between our contour and highlight So before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Today I'm just going to use the Mario Badescu. This is the rose water. It says facial spray with herbs, aloe, and rose water. I'm also going to spray a little bit of that rose water onto my bar of soap here. If you don't know about the soap brow thing, I'll have a video linked in the description box. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic. What else is new? For the lips, I'm kind of at a toss-up right now. I want to do just, of course, like a nude because that's what I would always do. But I'm already stepping out of my comfort zones. This video might not even make it to YouTube, so... Might as well try something different. I just got my Jeffree Star order in the mail the other day. I did buy some stuff for the Black Friday sale. So I got the shade Deceased, which is part of his holiday collection, which is in the red packaging. Super cute. Yeah, I'm pretty much down with it. I think it's kind of like an uninspected, you know, kind of deal. I'm going to go uh, do something with my hair, put another shirt on so I look presentable, and I'll be back. So as much as I'm loving this lip color, 
I'm starting to rethink it now that I put on like my black shirt. It just I feel like I need some brightness to the look. This is a Lorac Couture Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Vintage. I'm going to try to add my like original nude idea for this look, which is the Melted Matte Lipstick by Too Faced in the shade Child Star. I'm going to try to put that in the center, see if I can mix them. If not, I'll probably just go with this by itself. Alright, so this is just going to be option number one, and then I'll do option number two in a little bit. Last step before I change up the lip, I'm going to use um, the shade Snow from this Lorac palette and highlight the inner corner of my eyeball. Of the eyeball. And to nude this out even more, I'm taking that Lorac Gloss again. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's definitely something different for me and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone even putting this silver eyeshadow on my face. I'm totally down with using silver eyeshadows but not like a primarily silver gray and black eyeshadow look like. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful in some way. If so, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in my comment box. I would love to hear any video suggestions. Don't forget about my upcoming giveaways. There is amazing stuff coming for you guys this month, so stay tuned for that. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I always appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! All right, so, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with this black and you know get her done. Can you like turn on or what? So I'm gonna try to add on this gloss. This is a Lorac gloss. This is a Lorac gloss. This is a Lorac court. This is a Lorac court. What? Couture. Couture. Turn up, Rich. Shut up, bitch. Now that I don't have shit on my teeth, damn it!